Hi guys, it's me Jackson, and I got a custom order from Mr. Richie, Teddy's dad, and he wanted a um, ins installation bracket for his backup camera because he got a flatbed on his truck, and the flatbed blocked his view from the other camera. So he wanted, wants me to make um, an installation bracket for his backup camera. And this is how I made the, the bracket. So first I measured how, how big I need to be from here to here. And then I measured the thickness from the top of the camera to right here. And that's what I came up with that. And then I measured how, what the, di 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 the diameter of this, the camera part is. So once we had that on, it we had that done. So now we took we met, we took that same block, but made a little thicker from here to the metal, so we can rest on the metal. And then we put that hole there so it could slip through and sit there. And then he's gonna screw it into his truck, so we need to know where the holes are. So. We took those and then measured them where they would be. And then once we had all that done, it it looked like this. And this was the final result. So before we um, printed the real one, we printed a prototype. So it was only 10% in fill and it's not going to be as heavy and not as durable so this is the prototype so the camera just slips in and then it just slips in there and it's and then once we knew the camera fit we went to his house and tested it on his truck and here's the video of me testing it at his house on this truck Hi guys, it's me Jackson, and um, Teddy's dad, my friend, asked for um, a little case for his camera, which is this, so the camera would pop in, so he'd screw it onto his truck, and it, and it would be like that. So this one is just a prototype, so it's not as hard as the other one so this was only 10 percent infill but the other one's going to be like 40 or 50 percent infill and so now that we know the prototype worked we printed one that's with 40 percent infill which is a little bit harder and durable so because it's going to be outside all the trucks so a bit durable and um and before before we um give it to him i want to show you guys the difference between 10% infill and 40% infill. So as you can see, this is 10% infill and it's not that thick and heavy. So 40% infill is going to be a lot heavier and more durable. And you'll see why I'm going to show you 40% infill. So this is 20% infill. As you can see, it's a lot thicker and it's going to be dur more durable and a little bit heavier. And that was my video. I hope you liked it. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out.